Trump tells Americans to pray after Putin reveals his nuclear weapons plan. Take a look. This is a new escalation from Vladimir Putin. Today he announced he is putting tactical nuclear weapons in neighboring Belarus, a Russian ally, signaling a clear threat to Ukraine. Now, this all started unfolding over the weekend and has poured into today. And former President Donald Trump is saying that if he were the president, that he could broker a deal within 24 hours. Take a look. And before I even arrive at the Oval Office, shortly after I win the presidency, I will have the disastrous war between Russia and Ukraine settled. I'm going to get a settlement very quickly. You can get that. I will have that settlement done within 24 hours. So let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Uh, do you believe that the current administration is doing the best that they can to handle this situation and that they're going about it the right way? Or do you think that if former President Donald Trump was in charge that this would be a totally different story? Well, I'm going to share with you what exactly is unfolding right now and also what the former president had to say on this in Waco, Texas, so that way you can see what's going on. And I know this is very concerning because without a doubt, the movement of tactical nuclear weapons from uh, a country to another definitely looks like a strategic move in preparation for an attack. And when nuclear weapons are involved, it uh, is very concerning, to say the least. So I'm going to dive into the latest details so that way you know what's going on, though. And before we do, do me a quick favor. Smash that like button if you appreciate the updates, keeping you up to speed on everything going on. And if you want to stay up to date, it's totally free. All you got to do is hit the subscribe button, turn on that notification bell. But let's go ahead and dive right in. All right, so first, link in the description below to this article it just came out yesterday. Yesterday, and then we'll take a look at the video footage of what former President Donald Trump had to say about the issue and how he says he could resolve it within 24 hours. So the former president, Donald Trump, called on Americans to pray after Russian President Vladimir Putin revealed his latest plans for his country's nuclear weapons over the weekend. Putin announced on Saturday plans to place nuclear weapons in Belarus for the first time in decades as Russians' relations with the West continue to sour amid its invasion of Ukraine. The conflict has long sparked concerns of escalation, with fears that Russia could eventually use nuclear weapons in its ongoing war. Russia, on the other hand, has accused the West of inflaming tensions through its support for Ukraine. The Russian leader's nuclear decision sparked quick condemnation from critics and anti-nuclear advocates who view Putin's move as potentially escalating tensions. It came after the United Kingdom gave Ukraine armor-piercing rounds containing depleted uranium, which Russia has falsely equated to arming them with with a nuclear component. Trump, who is running for presidency in 2024 again, spoke out about the development Monday morning in a post to his social media platform, Truth Social. In the post, the former president sought to blame President Joe Biden's administration for the situation. Biden's handling of the Russia-Ukraine situation has been subject to criticism from Republicans, who have said his administration's approach to foreign policy is weaker than his predecessor. Some conservatives have also taken issue with Biden providing Ukraine weaponry in order to combat Russia. The issue of Ukraine's aid has divided the GOP with other Republicans such as Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell praising the aid of Ukraine. The ex-president urged his supporters on the platform to pray in response to Putin's announcement. Here we go, just as I predicted. Now we're playing with the big stuff. The N-word is now being used front and center, he said, referring to his phrase for the word nuclear. Trump continued, this situation was caused by us. It's what happens when you have incompetent people running your government. All I can say to you right now is to pray. Trump has been an outspoken critic of the Biden administration's foreign policy, previously warning that it could lead to a nuclear war. He has also touted his relations with the U.S. adversaries such as Putin as a success for his administration. In January, the former president warned that a weapons package sent to Ukraine could compel the Kremlin to launch nuclear attacks. First come the tanks, then come the nukes. Get this crazy war ended now. So easy to do, Trump wrote at the time. Amid concerns that the nuclear weapons in Belarus could escalate the Ukraine war, the State Department has said that it is monitoring the situation but does not believe that Russia has immediate plans to use nuclear weapons. We have not seen any reason to adjust our own strategic nuclear posture nor any indication that Russia is preparing to use nuclear weapons, the State Department spokesperson said in a statement to Newsweek on Saturday. We remain committed to the collective defense 
of the NATO alliance. Newsweek reached out to Trump's campaign for comments via email. Let me know your thoughts. Even though they're saying that there is no reason for concern, what would be the purpose of relocating nuclear tactical weapons from one country to another? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. But now, let's take a look at what the former president actually had to say on this, and let me know your thoughts. And before I even arrive at the Oval Office, shortly after I win the presidency, I will have the disastrous war between Russia and Ukraine settled. It would never have happened. I used to talk to Putin. I got along well with Putin. I used to talk to Putin about it. It's something he certainly had in his mind. Never even talked about it. For four years, you didn't even hear about it. As soon as I was out or left or however you want to describe that catastrophe, they started putting soldiers on the border. But even then, he didn't want to do it. He wanted to get a piece. Now it looks like he'll end up probably getting the whole thing. But I've never seen anything like it. What's happened? And if you saw the other day with President Xi, smart, top of his game. President Putin, smart, very smart people standing there talking about the world order for the next 100 years. That's one of the saddest things you can imagine, one of the saddest. I'm proud to be the only president in decades who did not start a new war. Everyone said, oh, he's going to start. He's going to start a new war. And it's no coincidence that the deep state is coming after me even harder since I pledged to swiftly end the war in Ukraine. So when I say end it, I'm going to get a settlement very quickly. And I know both people, I'm, and you can get it very, very quickly. You can only do it through the presidency, but you control the money coming in, coming out. You can get that. I will have that settlement done within 24 hours. So there you have it. The former president saying that he could get a settlement within 24 hours and that it would be controlling the money that through the position of the presidency, that would be something that he would be able to do. Now, let me know. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you think that uh, he is capable of doing this? Or do you think that President Joe Biden is just as capable as well? Or do you think that Donald Trump with his former business experience would be able to better broker a deal than the current uh, President Joe Biden? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Now we will see. And of course, uh, a lot of people are saying this is very concerning. The moving of tactical, tactical nuclear weapons from one country to another looks like a strategic play. Preparation for a nuclear attack, which is something that nobody wants. We do not want our editor into a nuclear war. However, uh, we will see what unfolds, and I will let you guys know they're saying that the plans for this movement will likely take place around July, so in a couple months, the middle of this year, is when that this will start to unfold. Uh, in the meantime, though, like I said, we will keep an eye on this and see what happens. Now, also, I know that a lot of people are interested in what's happening with our economy. War would definitely impact our economy, and also a lot of people want to know what is available right now because our economy is hurting with inflation, uh, and we are still having people suffer as benefits from the pandemic are being pulled away. The rug is being pulled out from a lot of Americans who were depending on these benefits. And also, we're waiting to see if Congress fulfills some of the promises for Social Security and other stimulus provisions that they had previously made. Now, in the meantime, there are some new updates on local, state, city, and county refunds, stimulus rebates going out. And if you missed my latest video, be sure to check it out right here as I cover the latest details for you on different checks that are available for you. So check that one out next. And as more updates come out, I'll be sure to keep you guys up to date so you know what's available for you and your family and what you can prepare for. But with that being said, you guys, thank you so much for joining me. If you made it this far and haven't already, don't forget, smash the like button, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Take care. God bless. This is Steve.